Hey everyone, I wanted to come to you today and share with you how you can use the quick cooker for searing. Because a lot of times a recipe may call for a method of sauteing or searing and then either pressure cooking or maybe you slow cook. And a lot of times people eliminate that step because it's one more pan to wash and one more step to do. So today I'm gonna to share with you how you can actually accomplish that all in the quick cooker. So the quick cooker is our pressure cooker and it's really a tool that can allow you to cook your meals up to 70% faster. And because it's a pressure cooker, you can't, you can do more than just pressure cook. <laughs> you can do things like sear, like I mentioned, you can do things like slow cook in case you wanna do that. You can steam, you can proof, which means raise the bread like the dough. Um, or you can make your own yogurt. And then there's all kinds of presets on here so that all you have to do is literally turn the button and it makes it so easy for you to not really have to think about how long should I cook this for? Very simple, turn it to beef or pork if that's what you're cooking and press the start button. So let's get started with some searing. So what you're gonna find is that this dial right here, you just twirl it, turn it, and it goes through all the different settings. You're gonna land on the one you want, which I'm gonna land on sear. And searing has a 20 minute setting. However, all of, our, all of our presets are all adjustable. So you don't have to worry about, you know, what's gonna happen if it's, I don't need 20 minutes. I'm just gonna put it on there just for fun. And I'm gonna take the lid off here. What's gonna start happening is this pot inside is actually going to start heating up. This is a six quart pot. And it was, it was or saute your vegetables. The reason for that is because um, you want to actually bring out the flavor of your vegetables a little bit more and searing does that. Same with meat. You want to do that if the recipe calls for it. So for example, pot roast, that's a really great thing to actually sear. And you're not looking for vegetables or meat to be fully cooked when you're just searing. You're just actually trying to make sure it gets that brown caramelization on it on both sides. And then on the inside, it doesn't have to be finished cooking because you're gonna pressure cook it the rest of the time. So I can already feel the heat with this. I am going to just put some onions in here, top of this up, just to give you an example here. Whoa, okay. <laughs> um, anyway, so I've got the oil in here and I'm just gonna put some onions in here. And you can already hear the sizzle. So you can tell it heats up very quickly. And it makes it so that you can get your meals done quickly as well. And then just stirring it around. Now, whatever, whatever length of time your recipe is looking for, that's how long you want to sear it. You don't need to sear it for 20 minutes. Um, typically, a pot roast, you're going to sear maybe four to five minutes on each side because that's a big chunk of meat. Onions or celery or carrots or those types of things that are really small, about one to two minutes. It doesn't take that long at all. So. That is how you sear. When it's finished, all you do is press the cancel button and then it's finished. And all you have to do then is take out your food if you need to do another step or just keep adding to it. Like that's what I like to do, just keep adding to it because then you don't have to take out anything. Okay, so one other quick little tip for you. We have these little sauces and these are for uh, our pressure cooker, but to help you really build flavor in a really quick way. So for example, this is the ginger sesame. And what this is, is a sauce that allows you to either, or not either, but add protein and vegetables, and that's it. So for example, the ginger sesame is delicious, and you set the quick cooker to sear, you add your oil, you're gonna add boneless chuck, and cut it into strips. You could also do chicken, I've done that as well. And you're going to sear that for just a couple of minutes. What happens then is you're gonna add this whole jar to the chicken that you have in there that's just been seared, not fully cooked, and then you just follow the instructions. You're gonna adjust the time to custom in 10 minutes. That means it's gonna pressure cook for 10 minutes. And then you're going to have this delicious meal when you're finished, very flavorful chicken. So that is how you use these sauces. You literally just follow the, um, in, or the instructions right here. And you, they're always interchangeable with protein as well. So you can decide what kind of protein you wanna actually do with, with it. Now I like to do a little broccoli or um, cauliflower or things like that with these sauces so I add a little bit more um, with that and that is how simple it can be. Now this gets hot when you're seared when you're searing so you always want to make sure however you know I turned it off pretty quick so it's not too hot but you can see that it actually does 
get um, caramelized down there. So that is actually really good. Now, if I were making soup or something else, I would add the rest of my ingredients and then I would totally just put the lid on, lock it, and make sure I have enough liquid in there with the ingredient or with the recipe, and then set it to the right setting by, by turning the dial and then letting it go. So that's how quick and easy you can sear and do a bunch of other things on our quick cooker pressure cooker. Again, it slow cooks too, it steams, it proofs, it has all settings for grains and different meats as well. So you have the opportunity to do all kinds of cooking in this. I use this five times a week in my kitchen. And I'll also tell you, it comes with a great cookbook as well that's filled with dozens of recipes and, and charts for you for veggies, meats, grains, beans, all kinds of things so that you know exactly what to do. So if you're interested in this quick cooker, you have a couple of different options. You can purchase it from my website, which I will actually be posting. You can host your own online party with me and you can get it for half price. So that's another great savings for you. Um, and you have another option even as well. Maybe you wanna do what I do and share these great tools. You also can become a consultant and it actually comes in one of our new consultant kits. So it's, it's an amazing opportunity to choose any one of those. Either way, it's gonna help your family and you're really going to love this quick cooker. I use my stovetop actually so much less because I love the fact that this allows me to throw my food in here and then I set it and walk away. I don't have to babysit it and manage it and stir it. You know, once it's pressure cooking, it's totally hands-off cooking. And I'm pretty sure most of us like that. <laughs> so with that, I wanna thank you for watching and please let me know below how I can help you if you have further questions about pressure cooking. I would love to help you with that. Um, it can really change your life and honestly change the way you cook. Enjoy your day.